Hello friends, hope you are doing great. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to write one simple C sharp program which will print hello world on your screen. So prior to that, we need some prerequisites to be installed on our machine to write the uh, C sharp program. So let's see what tools required to write the C sharp program. So I'm going to the browser. So we need Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. So let's see what Visual Studio is. Visual Studio is nothing but it is integrated development environment for developing the applications like Windows, iOS, Android, Web or cloud based application. It comes with the three editions. One is community, second is professional and third one is enterprise edition. So what is difference between these three? So community edition is a open source editions which can be used by students, open source contributor and individual without purchasing the license. Another two editions are professional and enterprise. For using this edition, you need to purchase the license or you can try as a free trial for a couple of months. But after few months, it will be get expired and it, it don't allow to use. So another one is Visual Studio Code, which is a cross platform code editor, which using you can write the codes in Java, C Sharp, C, C++, Python, or whatever may be. It is an open source. <coughs> Uh, editor which can be installed on Windows OS, Mac OS, or <clears throat> or you can use Visual Studio Mac for the Mac OS. So, so these are the editions or these are the tools you need to install on your machines. So, what tool is suitable for you? I am assuming you are a student or individual. So go and install this community editions or install this Visual Studio code which is enough for you people. Don't go for professional and enterprise. <clears throat> now let's go to the Visual Studio to write the program. So this is my Visual Studio 2019. When you open this Visual Studio, it will show you this startup screen. From here, uh, you can clone the project, you can open the existing project or you can open the folder or create the new projects. So before, uh, uh, instead of following this, I will be say like continue without code. So you people understand better what template I am choosing. So continue without code. Now here you will see the Visual Studio. Uh, go to the file, new, here project. Now it will be loaded the project templates. So find uh, the project template. Uh, you can choose the platform, which language you want to use. You can choose, if you see sharp, which platform. I already explained Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, Windows and Xbox. So we are writing windows program so i'll be choose windows or i'll uh, saying that's what type of project there but i'm uh, keeping as all projects uh, this is a template dot net core console app choose this template and uh, click here next when you come to the next screen here it allows to define your project name so you can write like simple hello world so this is your project name 
now this is location where you want to store this project so you can specify from here or keep this path as it is now this is solution name uh, it will be created as dot sln i'll be explain uh, later on what this means now just simply click on create button it will create the one simple console application it will taking there some time but we will wait now the simple c sharp program by default get added so what this will be explain so this is a program dot cs class file inside that we have one method static void main so our starting starting point of the program is this static void main from here our program will be get executed so already here written the hello world program or you can simply define one string variable and assign the string called hello world i will copy from here and paste it here and now simply this variable can be written here so it should be a double quote because it is a string i will be explaining other video tutorial about these things now what this will do so this is a string variable which assigns the value of hello world to this one so this console dot right line is the method which will print your this value to the screen now when the console screen is running it will be automatically get closed or you will see the error on screen so to keep running that console screen so you need to write another one line of code that is console dot read line so your screen does not close automatically while reading this value on the screen just just to press control s to save this program and f5 to run or directly you can run from here so let's see we will run this program i will see hello world is get printed here so now hello world is get printed now we successfully completed writing the simple c sharp program using the visual studio